ciliates are unicellular protists which vary in size from the smallest forms measuring 10 microns to the largest which are 300 times this size and are visible without a microscope. They are covered by rows of cilia which are anchored together by microtubules inside the cell which allows them to move in unison. Ciliates are heterotrophs and ingest large numbers of smaller microbes for food. These smaller microbes enter a space known as its gullet and are packaged into food vacuoles. Acid and digestive enzymes break down the microbes in these food vacuoles and any remaining waste fuses to a cytoproct where it can be expelled from the cell. Ciliates also possess contractile vacuoles which allow them to eliminate water and regulate their osmotic balance. Ciliates possess two nuclei, a larger macronucleus and a smaller micronucleus. The macronucleus undergoes mitosis and regulates much of the physiology of the cell and cells can continue using only their macronucleus for a number of generations, perhaps hundreds. However, at some point, the cell must undergo sexual reproduction. It can no longer reproduce mitotically using its macronucleus. In sexual reproduction, ciliates need to encounter other ciliates of opposite mating types. During what is known as conjugation, the micronuclei, the smaller nuclei, undergo meiosis to produce haploid cells. These haploid cells are exchanged, and so each conjugating ciliate receives a haploid nucleus from the cell of the opposite mating type. Thus, two haploid micronuclei can fuse to form a diploid micronucleus following conjugation. At this point, the macronucleus will degenerate so that a cell only possesses the newly formed diploid micronucleus. It divides by mitosis, and one of the daughter nuclei then enlarges to become a new macronucleus. And so this is how ciliates reproduce sexually.